I think it's as simple as just... Do you want some food? Find us keepers, losers, groupers, okay? That's facts. Open the damn boxes. What it do, ladies and gentlemen, we have him and Hibana 157. If I remember correctly, last time we ended um, with Dino basically talking to Hibari on top of the school, I believe. We're born in uh, Shouchi, I believe. Uh, we're talking about um, the squad essentially needing to get rest because they had no flames to open the boxes anymore. So uh, that should be interesting. But anyways, with all that being said, um, hit that like button. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. And also leave a comment down below as well if you're watching this on YouTube. With all that being said, let's get into the episode. <laughs> Oh, of course. <laughs> oh my god, that she almost woke him up. Oh, I don't know why, why is he looking over him then? That's true. That he wouldn't sleep? He's fine. Oh, imagine, <laughs> imagine he betrays them later on because he's not actually who he thinks he is. I mean, who they think, who he says he is. I can't speak. All the more reason to worry, I guess. About what exactly? I was gonna say that because it didn't look like his was so it'd be a ring class. Okay, so like Yamato's. Oh, yeah. I do remember his weapons. Oh. That's very true. Hey, you have your own to open, bro. God damn, I've been freaking waiting for like the longest time. Open the damn box and get some sleep, bro. How very nice of him. Now get to sleep. Oh, <laughs> never mind. He's talking so much. His ass should be in bed with some melatonin and some freaking REM sleep right now, bro. Please and thank you. Say what? I mean, he's just looking out for you, right? <laughs> no! Absolutely not. About damn time, bro. God damn, go to sleep. Oh my god, yo. There is no way these motherfuckers are about to leave the house, right? What the? Oh my. See, something about this is a little fishy, though. Ain't that just a little. <laughs> for once, me and Lambo actually, you know what I'm saying? We we agree on something. Finders, keepers, losers, groupers, okay? That's facts. That dude look mad good, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh my god, what is this? This looks like bread. It could be fish, though, too. This looks like a donut and some rice. Oh, this is probably just chopsticks. I don't know what the hell this is, though, or this for that matter. Probably like chicken nuggets or something. Oh, damn, I forgot about that. Oh my guy, is she in bed? Like, I thought she was like hospitalized or something. I hate Lambo, bro. <laughs> See, this is when you just, just, you know what I'm saying? Foot, just boot that little nigga, bro. Yo, I cannot catch, bro. Oh my god. Yo, I would have anger issues, bro. Oh my god, the constant nagging. The fact that they just don't stay in one place at all. Like, oh my god, bro, I can do it. Also, they didn't even bother to check on- Wait, hold on a second. This is crazy. What the fuck? Wait, so they just took the food, didn't even bother to check on whether she was good or not? Like, what? If she's not eating the food, then she's obviously sick. So, open the door and ask what the hell's the problem. What? Don't just leave the freaking- Don't just leave with the food. Ask if she's okay. Oh, that do look good, though. Damn. Oh my god, I remember a freaking funny ass story about this, bro. Oh my god. I used to go to Denny's because they had, they used to have like these little, um, they used to have like this deal with, uh, pancakes. And it would be like a stack or something like, I think it was like a stack of two or three. And it would be like some cheap ass price. It was like a dollar or something, right? I remember I went there one time and when I asked for the same thing, the total price, normally I would get like two stacks, right? And it would have like, I would ask for them to put uh, chocolate chip cookies inside of the pancakes and they would do it for free. And I remember the price used to be like two or three dollars, right? I might be tripping. I don't know what the hell it was actually, honestly. It might have been $5. I remember one time I went back there and they, they had added like an extra two, three or four dollars to it. I'm like, no. <laughs> I never went back there again. I, I mean, obviously I bought it because they already made it. But I never went back there again. Like, I'm like, what? Only reason I was coming here to begin with was because the shit was cheap. I'm paying more for that shit. I mean, it's like it's a healthy ass food anyway. So it's like, it wasn't like a crazy thing that I was like sad about. 
they all keep saying like, oh, she has not left that room. She hasn't left the house. I mean, not the house, but the uh, the room to eat some food, right? Has anyone like bothered to knock and ask what the hell's wrong with her, bro? Because there's no way in hell someone not eating the food for this long is just healthy. Like it don't even make sense. So originally, I thought that she was like in the uh, in like one of them bed, like the hospital beds. Like I don't know whether like it was her face or something. Like I think she was like you know like, when people are hospitalized, they got like the stuff like the breathing stuff on their face, or they got like the IV plugged into their arm or something. I thought she was like hospitalized like that. And, like, she couldn't get out of bed. Maybe I'm just tripping and she was perfectly fine, okay? But if the the first one is the case, they should really open that door and actually check up on her. Because just talking about the fact that she's not eating food and just not doing nothing is just not going to do nothing. You know what I mean? Someone needs to, like, open the door. Ask her why. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> what? I think it's as simple as just Do you want some food? Like <laughs> Why are the making it so complicated? I'm sure she wants the food I don't think she said no to the food Bro that That, bro, that ring is so clean But I love that shit Boston. I love how they don't even call him by the name bro uh, Yo Are you starving in there? Like are you Are you good? That can't be the case because you haven't eaten shit. Why is she looking at him like that? <laughs> she reminds me of freaking Voldemort, bro. These guys. Why is everyone just not sleeping, bro? Muscle tone by walking? I mean, I guess, but... I would assume you would want to do a little bit something more physical, you know what I mean? Like working out. Yo, Chrome got chill with this, bro. This is insane. Eat the damn food, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there's, there's not much you can do, bro. I don't think you can just force her out the room. And she didn't listen. The audacity of her. <laughs> bro. That's crazy. Nah, 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 don't do that. I feel like the girls could just uh, just go into the room, bro. Like, guys, probably not, but out of respect and everything. But, bro, if you're both girls, just open the room and just be like, yo, eat some food, bro. Goddamn. They answered me. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm getting in that room, bro. If I'm Kyoko in them. Oh really? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That do be true though. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's that's facts. Listen, I would say I'm a very talkative person, so I'm like an open book, honestly. If I'm friends with people, nine times out of ten, they'll know pretty much everything about me. If I trust them, that is. If it's like in every friend group, I feel like there's always like a little group in the friend group, and there's just some people that like you talk to a lot more often than others, even though you're all friends and like you all hang out and shit. There's just some people that you just don't know everything about. You know what I mean? And that's perfectly fine. You're still friends at the end of the day. It don't really matter. Like if you're good enough of friends, you'll still be, you'll still be each other for them, regardless of the problem or if they ever need anything. You always be there for them. That's perfectly fine, right? That's me. Um, but there's there's always that. There's always that person in the group that you're just not 100% sure about, you know what I mean? It's like, your, the connection isn't like 100-100, you know what I mean? It's not like fully connected right there. There's always just that, that little shit that they, just don't, that they don't be sharing with you. And that's fine, it's not wrong with that. And if you're like me, I overshare a lot, so everything about me is just out there, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's out for everyone else. But there's just some people that, don't, that just don't tell you everything, and you're still friends at the end of the day, but it's, it's just a fact. <laughs> To be fair, I, I don't even know nothing about that either, honestly. Like, I know they're friends and shit. But, uh, oh, and the Mukura thing, we understand too, but... There's still a lot of questions about Chrome that we don't know. Oh, that is very true as well, too. The group, not her, though. So you gotta do your best to know her? Yo. <laughs> Regardless if I'm a girl or not, bro, I feel like, bro, it's no way, bro. You gotta help me help you, you know what I mean, type shit. Like, I can't help you if you're not gonna come out here and help yourself, you know what I mean? But that's just me, though, so I can't, I can't speak for everyone else, is what I'm trying to say. So there's just gonna be no training, no sleeping, no box opening or none of that. Like, that's what you're telling me right now, bro? Bro, I don't know how I feel about you right now, bro. Okay, bro, stop. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker just so goddamn freaking extra. Oh my god. I understand the choji, bro. Like, he just, he's focused in and dialed in on his work. That's what I'm saying. And it, there was no problem with that. What? The thing is, that ha do happen with a lot of um, scientists, too. They always just locked in and dialed in on their work. 
It's actually pretty good. It helps you think. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you not? Oh, but then again, I think he's French, right? That is the most my fiction from these days. Is everyone just calling him Yuri? I keep, I, I keep calling him Shochi. I'm gonna keep calling him Shochi too. Oh, yo. No, he's alive. He's alive. I don't think he's dead. I don't know how he did it, but I feel like somewhere out there, bro. I'm telling you, that motherfucker alive. I don't know how he did it, but I'm pretty sure he's alive somewhere. He lied. And the thing is too, the interesting thing is, if he lied about other things too, thank you, 100%. If he lied about things too, there's no way he's going to tell the truth about everything. Especially if it's someone that, I feel like even if he did get away, I feel like out of shame and like to protect his um his status, to protect his status, I feel like he wouldn't like just say, oh, I just, I just, I just lost that motherfucker that was uh, infiltrating our system, you know what I mean? I feel like even, uh, even if he did get away... To keep his image uh, intact, I feel like he wouldn't say nothing at the end of the day. Uh, that's why I also think that uh, Mukuro's out there somewhere. I do also am worried a little bit though, because if Mukuro's out there, I feel like he should have went to go look for the Mongolian and them, or even the, the Varia for that matter too. And the fact that no one has seen or heard from him is kind of um, worrying, but I have faith at the end of the day. Uh, that's all I'll say. He's out there somewhere. He's out there somewhere. Yes, sir. I look at they're going to uh, skip to Mukuro, you know what I mean? Out there somewhere doing something. Oh, that's why she's worried. Okay. Of course. He's a great guy, man. He's a great guy. Say what? He's like that. Yeah, that's not a... Those aren't favorable odds, I'll say that, though. Neither do we, bro. True, man, true. <laughs> Goku hating as usual. I think it's safe to say so. As long as Chrome's on your side, I feel like uh, Mukuro just falls wherever she goes. Damn, bro. I feel like, oh my god, a point of view of his perspective would be nice, though. So she's still in touch the food. At that point, bro, I'm knocking, bro, I'm knocking down that door with that ass. There's no way. Oh, hell, bro. Okay, nah. They're too nice, man. Oh my god, they're too nice. At some point in time, bro, you gotta help yourself, okay? It's only so much one person or a group of people could do for you, bro. That's great. Now, if Suda and company could do the same goddamn thing, bro, that would be freaking wonderful, okay? Open the damn boxes. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, okay, wake him up, okay. Wait, 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 wake him up. Oh, it's Futa's birthday. I'm tripping, okay. I think it is, right? Okay, yeah, that's the only thing that would make sense. Or is that? Oh, it is buses. Never mind. I'm tripping. Oh, yo, why the hell do they look so alike? What the heck? Does one of them wear glasses? I don't. I can't tell. <laughs> oh, of course he does. Why am I not surprised? At this point, bro, I'm breaking the damn door down, bro. Like, it's just no way. What the? Hold on, happen. Also, is that? Oh, okay. I thought. <laughs> I thought she was about to give him the doll or something. Or her the doll. <laughs> For a second, I thought she was trying to prove to her like that it wasn't poison or something. I don't know why. <laughs> what the hell even is that though? It's like a little rice ball. Good job, Appen. Who would have thought all this time they just needed to send it in there? Send it up in there. God damn, bro. She got like social anxiety or something. I'm quite literally the opposite of her when it comes to social situations, bro. I literally, I over, I literally over speak. They're both funny though. They're cute. She's so adorable, bro. Oh my god. She gotta learn how to get out of like her little bubble. You know what I mean? Six o'clock. Oh hell no, bro. I ain't waking up at no freaking six a.m. Are you kidding me? What the hell, bro? If I don't have to, I'm waking up like at least past eight. Who the hell is about six a.m. in the morning? That's so much, bro. That's hella early. What is it even to do at six a.m.? Oh, it's Chrome. I knew she was eating food. Oh wait, no, she's cleaning it up. There's no way she's just not eating food, but it don't make sense. <laughs> she just has like a lot of social anxiety apparently, bro. That's crazy as hell. I'm the same way in the very beginning, but after like a day or two, bro, I'm, you can't even get me to shut up. It's actually a problem of mine, honestly. I gotta work on that shit. Damn, bro. I remember them days when I was little, I had to do the dishes, bro. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> the good old days. Hey, you know the worst part? The worst part is when you actually do them by yourself without being asked to do it. And they still tell you to do it. Oh my god, yo. The amount, like, I, I, I would get dizzy. Like, I would be so pissed off. It's only when they tell you to do it that I just don't want to do it. It's like, 
I'm literally doing it. Why do you need, why do you feel the need to tell me something that I'm already doing? Like, oh my God. That shit would send me to the goddamn wood. I would be so fucking pissed. <laughs> At 6 a.m., bro, you gotta be joking. I remember, bro, that's crazy. I remember like, uh, by school, you used to start like 7, 7 a.m. in the morning. I used to hate getting up at 6 a.m., bro. God damn, that shit, was, that shit used to bother the hell out of me. Bro, nowadays, I don't, even, I don't got school or nothing that, so it's like, bro, I can sleep whenever I want. But god damn, 6 a.m. willingly? Pff, no, there's no way. Can't do it. <laughs> you can pay me to get up at 6 a.m. in the morning if I don't have to. Clearly, she has a source of anxiety, which, again, is not... It's not uncommon. It's actually pretty common with a lot of people. Um, and you know the funny thing is? It only became un uh, uncommon for me uh, after, like, the beginning... First year of high school, I didn't talk to no one because I had actually moved to the, um, where I am right now. Basically, my first year in the new school, it was a private school, so pretty much everyone in my class knew each other. Um, they were... Like, everyone else was, like, friends with each other. I knew no one. Keep in mind right here, right? So, first year, on top of that, like, I had, like, really, really bad acting, so I was, like, very, like... I was, like, very self-conscious of myself. So I basically talked to literally no one for an entire year, right? Second year, I talked to one person. And then midway through the second year is when people started talking to me. Like, I didn't go out of my way to talk to people. And then essentially essentially what happened was, like, by the end of the second year, everyone else was kind of basically... I don't even know how to say it. Like, I feel like I was forced into being an extrovert <laughs> in a way. Because normally, before that, I, I used to just go home or just watch my freaking anime, have my headphones in 24-7, listen to music. And just watch my anime in the corner, you know what I mean? And as soon, I'm talking about like, as soon as the doorbell rang, I was, I was out of there, bro. I was literally like gone within seconds. And the thing is, I got, I, I, my house was like, um, the place that we were living in was like literally like a five minute walk. So I'm like in and out 20, like in five seconds, bro. As soon as that bell ring, books in the book bag, backpack I'm, uh, in my back, hear my name being called, I'm out of there. I don't speak to no one. I don't say, I don't say bye to no one. It's gone, bro. But yeah, I completely understand where she's coming from. Uh... But at some point in time, you got to kind of grow up because uh, regardless of what you do in life, uh, work, college, anything past high school, you're going to talk, you're gonna have to like, talk to people, interact with people. And that's, that's essentially like the, that's, that's how life is. You know what I mean? You can't do everything yourself. So at some point in time, you got to go uh, out of your little bubble and try to, you know what I mean, uh, make connections with people <clears throat> and just get to know others. You know what I mean? And also learn to work with uh, other groups as well. But yeah, yeah. Um, Pretty chill episode, honestly, not really much going on. Uh, I really just uh, am hoping that they do get to the training as soon as possible. Um, I don't know why they're prolonging all of this. The funny thing is they said, uh, I mean, Reborn said that in the very beginning, uh, when they first got back, that they had to gain, get some rest so they could actually even use their boxes. And ironically enough, like, not a single, not a single person is not fucking getting any rest. So it's like, what the fuck are we doing here? You know what I mean? Uh, it's kind of annoying. Uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's pretty annoying, I'll say that. But anyways, regardless, with all that being said, um, I love and appreciate everyone you guys, man. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.